hello again. We've got um, Heather again with us and um, she's going to be working through some foot strengthening exercises which is very important for her profession in dance but also this is great for anyone who's had any ankle problems, any uh, um, overturned ankle or inversion injuries of the ankle, any plantar fascia problems, so any heel pain and just generally for keeping the foot mobile and strong to increase your stability when you're standing. So we're just going to start with the soft ball, soft spiky ball exercise, which really works most of the muscles in the foot. And we start by placing the ball just underneath the front of the foot, so the forefoot, so that the toes are able to curl over that ball. And we're going to gently press down into the ball, trying to squash it. We're trying to get the movement to come from the ankle and not from the hip or the knee and we're almost getting the ankle to lift up and down. So as a result, we're getting the ankle to move as well. So we're lifting off, squashing that ball down. This exercise can also be done with a tennis ball and we'll show you, Heather will show you what she uses the golf ball for in a second. So we're gonna do 10 on that forefoot. And those toes are curling under, so it's really nice to open out those toes. Then we slide the ball so it's more underneath the middle of the foot. This is a great exercise if you have any kind of plantar fascia or heel pain or midfoot pain. And we're going to do the same exercise through the middle of the foot. So we're going to squeeze down, push into the ball. Sometimes this one can feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, obviously, just push through what you're able to do. And we're going to do 10 at that spot there. And then we're going to go into the heel now. So we're going to roll the foot so the heel is on that ball. We're going to bend the knee. We're going to get the hip and the glutes involved here. So we're going to push down into the ball from those heels and try and squash the ball there. And we're going to repeat each one 10 times. We're going to do the same on the other foot. And you'll find after you've worked on the foot like this, you'll find the foot will feel a lot more awake and a lot more stable. Footwork is really important for ballet dancers and dancers in general, but also I think it's really important for all other sports. Helen's just gonna talk through a few other exercises that are dance specific. So, over to Helen. We use the golf ball. Heather. Heather. <laughs> we use the golf ball to help uh, loosen up just the underneath of the foot, so you made a tarsal thing and all those lovely gooey muscles. So you place the golf ball with your heel down in the centre of your foot and you need to put some pressure on it so you will feel some discomfort but it's just one of those pains that you need to breathe through. So the ball rolls up just underneath the knuckles and it rolls through to the big toe and it goes on the inside of the foot all the way down to the heel and we pull it back up through the centre. All while keeping this slight pressure onto the golf ball, just releasing some tension in the foot so we get the major work into it. And you can just do a couple of repetitions of that because it's quite painful. So I wouldn't do more than 10. We have our um, leg raises or in-step lifts. So you're lifting from this side of the foot. Your toes need to be kept long as you pull up that muscle. So you're really lifting up from the top of your foot to the back. And you really need to keep your legs engaged and pull up as you lift up the toe and drop. This can be repeated on both sides as well as both feet together. I'm going a little bit more, so we need to keep um, our body engaged. So our pelvis floor is lifted, our tailbone is dropped down, so we've got a nice long body. Shoulders are nice to keep down the back, so we've got a nice long leg. And we just bring our leg out to second. Your legs need to be engaged, you're pulling up out of your hips, so we're not sinking down into it, we're lifting up. And all you're doing is dropping your toes down into what we call Denny Point and lifting up. So you're working the inside or underside of your foot. So the instep. And you're lifting down and up and down and up. All while not moving anything from your hip, it's all from the lower part of your body. So your foot is lifted. And you repeat that on the other side as well. You should do about 10 to 12 on 